Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 15th. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may not may or may not be for you. Alright. So what do we have for right around the 15th? Keeping in mind that the timing is fluid. What do we have for right around the 15th? Five of Cups reversed. Six of Wands reversed. And the Six of Pentacles reversed. So we have a rejection here. We have no victory, no success. Six of Wands reversed is a one hit wonder. Somebody that is very, very prideful, uh, smug, cocky, losing a battle, not getting, not receiving. Um, there's some sort of abuse of generosity here or not receiving uh, attention, not getting any attention. Um, the Five of Cups reversed is, uh, I mean a couple things, hold on. Four of Cups reversed right next to it. I wanted to clarify, that's seizing a new opportunity, thinking about an opportunity. Next to the Five of Cups reversed, we got somebody here that is really thinking about another opportunity. It's like they want it. They really want the other opportunity. They have been grieving over a loss. They've been crying over a loss. They've been wallowing. It may be in even some sort of self-pity. Um, there may be some regrets here. It may be somebody that has some sort of regrets. Four of Cups reversed is seizing a new opportunity. It's taking it. It has been ignored, but taking the opportunity now, wanting to take the opportunity, taking it. Now that Four of Cups reverse is the very first card in the lineup because I put it before the Five of Cups. So we have somebody here that's beginning to realize that this other opportunity looks really, really good. They have been focusing on something that is not successful, where they're not getting what they deserve. Uh, the Six of Wands reverse is no, no win. It's a losing battle. Uh, Six of Pentacles reverse, not getting what they deserve, not any balance, no reciprocation, no equality. Um one-sidedness we have somebody here that uh, is losing something they're going backwards as well or they're not going forwards because these sixes are reversed we have somebody here that is in a place of disharmony there's an imbalance here there's there's some sort of uh, no victory you know this is a loss this, there's some sort of this is losing somebody has lost something they've lost something because they didn't reciprocate or they didn't give the six of pentacles reverse is no giving it's not receiving you know no give and take no no reciprocation one-sidedness losing losing something i mean the six of wands reverse is a loss it, it is uh Two of Coins. Now, the Two of Coins is about change. It really is. This is a juggler. We have somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling with uh, demands, perhaps, trying to find balance. There's a need to be flexible. There's some sort of stress here. May even have financial stress. We have somebody here that's not getting what they deserve at all. They're not getting it. They're not getting what they deserve. They have to make a choice. Twos are about choices. They're about decisions. This is like trying to do too much. Somebody is trying to do too much. This is a difficult decision. Do you stay? Do you go back? Do you move forward? Somebody is really stuck because these sixes are reversed. They have another opportunity here. They probably have been ignoring it. They're really seeing it now. Five of Cups reversed. Leaving the past hurts behind. Beginning to realize that there's a better option. There's no victory here. There's no success here. I'm not getting what I want. I'm not getting what I deserve. You know, this could be even a loss. It is a loss. It could be a lost job or a loss of income or a loss of financial stability or a, a loss of success. This is a, somebody that doesn't follow through the Six of Wands reverse. This is somebody that is not a leader. They don't take the leadership role. If they do, they are not experienced to be in the leadership role because they don't follow through. The Six of Wands reverse is somebody that um, is very competitive. They like to compete. They have a hard time, but they don't usually win because they give up prematurely or they don't have the experience. But anyhow, 
two of two of pentacles is a change right it's a realignment it is a realignment trying to find balance somebody is in a very unbalanced situation they're not getting anything there's disharmony here high priestess reversed now the high priestess reversed is not listening not listening not aware um we also may have somebody here that has received poor counsel um the high priestess reversed is a lack of awareness i also feel like there's something that is going to be revealed maybe somebody's been keeping a secret you know and their secret that is going to be revealed i feel like uh somebody's been ignoring their intuition they've been it feels like they've been uh they've also received some poor counsel trying to find balance somebody is trying to find balance they're trying they want to get what they deserve but there's some sort of lack of awareness or not listening to the intuition or poor counsel that has been received that is causing somebody to not have victory. It's like you're not getting what you deserve. It's time for a change. Two of coins is about change, okay? Four of swords reverse. Now the four of swords reverse is exhausted, tired. This is a dead end. Somebody has been thinking a lot. They've reached a point where, you know, there's a lot of isolation and solitude and emptiness. Four of swords reversed. Not listening, not listening to the gut. Need to listen to your gut. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Somebody hasn't been listening. They haven't been paying attention to their dreams. There's a loss here. There is a loss. Six of Wands reversed and the Six of Pentacles reversed. That's a loss. Ignoring, ignoring your intuition. Somebody's ignoring something. It may be even ignoring their health or ignoring the truth. I don't know, that Four of Swords, that's, that's like frustrated, exhausted, fed up. Not listening. Not getting, somebody's not getting what they deserve. They definitely aren't with the Six of Pentacles reversed. I don't know if they're getting fired or they're being let go. Not, not seeking advice or listening to the wrong advice. There's some sort of abuse here of power with the Six of Wands reversed next to the Six of Pentacles reversed. We may have somebody here that delivers poor information. They're, they're exerting their power. You really need to be careful. Um, beginning to realize that there is a better option. There's no victory here. There's no success. There's a need to be flexible with that Two of Pentacles. Listen to your gut. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is very authentic. She's very truthful, very to the point. There's something that is about to be revealed. We do, definitely. Something is about to be revealed. We have some truth that is about to be revealed that is going to probably change a circumstances or change a circumstance because we have the Two of Pentacles right next to it. So that is a change. Change maybe a direction. Um, six, and because the directions are the sixes. We have somebody here that's stuck, okay? They're stuck, they're in a bad place, they're not getting what they deserve. Queen of Swords is an epiphany, it's a new perspective. Getting a new perspective, a new perspective is coming. Somebody is gi being given a new perspective. Something is about to be revealed. Three of Cups reversed. Now the Three of Cups reversed is a termination. It's a parting ways. Parting ways from friends or family or a third party situation. This is parting ways. This is a, a termination. There's a lack of emotional growth, right? There's 
there's uh, enemies disguised as friends, there's gossip, there's people that talk, you know. Um, something is definitely being revealed. The end of a third party situation. This party is over. There's nothing to celebrate. Um, the party is over. So some sort of party is over. There's some sort of information that is about to be revealed that uh, we have three of cups three times in reversed because it's on the four of cups reversed, it's on the five of cups reversed, and it's on the three of cups reversed. There's a fated event here as well. There's fate involved. But anyhow, the three of cups reversed is a separation. It really is. It's parting ways from friends, family, or a third party. The death of a situation here as well. We have something that is definitely coming to an end. Somebody's about to gain a new perspective, okay? I feel like we have a woman here that is about to give somebody a new perspective. Three of Cups reverse, All honoring the truth, telling the truth, speaking up. There's going to be a communication. Somebody's going to be saying something or they've said something or they've done something. That is the sword that cuts. It is the sword of truth, taking control. Um, three of Cups reverse, that is parting ways. Dashed expectations. My nose is itching. Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is suffering, right? We got somebody here that is tied to a situation. They're suffering. There's, this is like prison. They, it's like they've been imprisoned. And they've given up. This is giving up. It's giving up. Giving up. They're suffering. Somebody is probably giving up a third party. This is the end. It's right next to the Three of Cups reverse. Tens are completions. The end. This is the end. There is some sort of regrets here. We have somebody here that is regretting. They're regretting... Uh, the choice that they made, maybe, with that Two of Pentacles. Ten of Swords is the end. It's the death. It's the death of a situation. It is. Somebody has chosen to stay in a dreadful situation. They have. They've been misled. Anyhow, and now there, now there's regrets. Now there is some regrets. It's like, oh my God, how do I get myself into this situation? How do I get myself out of it? I just want to be free. I want to be free from this, you know? We definitely have somebody here that is looking at an opportunity they're thinking about it, they want it, they're seizing it, they're interested, they're very interested. They're, it's like they've been moping, they've been crying, they've been wallowing, they've been sulking. They've had no victory, they've had no success. Something's been taken away from them or it's been, there's been some sort of rejection. They've been unaware. They've been misguided, misled. There's some sort of information or truth that is coming out about the third party or about the, the friends or the family or whatever this is. We have somebody here that is really, really regretting. It's like they regret what they did or they're going to be. I feel like we have some unwelcome news that is coming. Which is going to cause a change. It's going to cause some sort of the end of stagnation. Eight. No. Three of coins, three of coins reversed. That's lack of teamwork, right? It's a lack of respect. We have somebody here that doesn't work well with others. They don't respect others. This is not a team player. There's definitely a third party situation here. I'm sure that there is. Not working out. We have something here that is not working out. 
It's right next to the Four of Swords reverse. That's like, I'm sick of it, I'm sick of it. There's no teamwork, there's no communication, there's no collaboration. This isn't working out, this isn't working out. You know, this isn't working out. This is a dead end, right? It's a dead end. Somebody has received some poor advice, you know, to hold on to something that is a dead end. Or they just weren't aware, not very awakened or something like that. Somebody is dealing with an individual that is very shallow as well. Anyhow, uh, three of pentacles reversed. This isn't working out. There's, there's no communication. There's no collaboration. There's no teamwork. There's a third party situation here. The end. This is the end of a third. And then we got the four of swords reversed right next to the three of pentacles reversed. So the that is a death of a person or idea, you know, next to the three of pentacles. So that's like a death. And then we get the ten of swords next to the three of cups reversed. That's a death of a third party as well. This is, you know, this is a friendship or a relationship. It's over. It's over. It's over. The end. The end. The end. Some sort of information is coming out or has been heard or said that, you know, somebody or somebody has made a cut because the Queen of Swords, she cuts, okay? She's very sharp. She's very intelligent. Um, she takes action. She does what she has to do. You know, this is what I have to do. I have to do this, you know? This isn't working out. Something isn't working out. Behind the three, Queen of Swords is the Three of Pentacles reverse. It's, there's no, you know, this isn't working out. Major completion of a cycle. This is leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. This is freedom. This is, this is the end, all right? <laughs> this is the end of a journey. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a project. It's the end of a trial. It's the end. It's the end of somebody has learned some sort of lesson, okay? A lesson has been learned, which has caused somebody's evolution. This is the end. This is the end of a cycle. It is. It's the end of a cycle. It's a major completion of a, of a phase of somebody's life. This is realizing the truth. It's seeing the truth. It's speaking the truth. It's honoring the truth. It's over. It's over. It's over. That's the end. Okay. That is the major completion of a cycle. And it does involve a third party situation. It does involve friends or a relationship. It's parting ways, leaving the past behind, stepping into a new era, stepping into a new existence making a definite decision to do so with the Queen of Swords. I gotta do this. The end, the end. The world card is the end. Oh, my nose is itching. It happens every time. There could even be um, a change of residence here with the world card, traveling. Page of Wands reverse. Now the Page of Wands reverse typically is not good news, right? It's not. Typically it's bad news. We may have somebody here that is immature, that has a self-image problem, that procrastinates. This may be somebody that lives in fear, that has negative thinking. Um, this is somebody that has no fun, uh, makes excuses, doesn't follow through. And I see that with the Six of Wands as well. So we have somebody here that has been procrastinating. They, they live in a place of fear and they talk. This is a talker. This is somebody that has a negative, negative Nelly, you know, that has nothing good to say, sees themselves as a victim, plays themselves as a victim. This is a victim mentality. Um, bad news. There's some sort of bad news that is coming. This is somebody that doesn't follow through. They don't follow through with their plans. You know, this is exciting for a minute, but they never show up. You know, they never follow through. They don't, they, they lack passion. They have passion for about a second and then it's over. Or a minute. You know, this is somebody that does not follow through. It's like they just don't. It's right next to the Six of Pentacles reversed.
Four of Wands. Four of Wands is about commitment. Committing to happiness. Somebody is going to be committing to their happiness. This is going right below the Queen of Swords and next to the World card. So we have, a, we have somebody here that is making a decision. This is somebody that is getting a new perspective. They may be getting an epiphany or something like that. This has to do with commitment, committing to a new journey next to the world card, committing to a new life, committing to a new you. There's going to be a get together. There's going to be a celebration of some sort attending a get together. This is a happiness, happy home. We do have a new beginning here. We definitely do an ending that leads to a new beginning because of that world card. This is the end of one journey, stepping into happiness. I mean, I can't, that's what that is. I mean, that's, and this could definitely be a change of residence. Absolutely, because the Four of Wands is, has to do with a happy home. And, uh, and the World card is a change of residence as well. Leaving the past behind. The Four of Wands is about contentment, commitment, homes, happiness, engagements, getting together, having fun. Committing, committing to a new journey, committing to a new life, making a decision to commit. That's what this is. Good luck.